Hey guys, it's Daps again. I hope you're good. I want to show you in this video how you can create a custom blog on your WordPress website. So if you have a WordPress website and you have a theme going, you have a boring uh, blog page. For example, I'm using the default 2024 uh, WordPress theme here. So I've been able to import some uh, blog template here so you can see how it's displaying here. If I would even create a separate page for this, the outlay is just boring. Regardless of the theme you're using, I have you covered in this tutorial. So I'll be creating two instances in this video. An instance where you don't want to tamper with your WordPress theme, you are just not happy with the way the blog page is looking and you want something very custom. And the second instance is for anyone who really want to take this a step ahead. You're looking for a fantastic free theme that will give you a fantastic blog page. This theme will be free and we'll be looking at a magazine design for that matter. So without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials immediately. So if I come to the back end of this WordPress website, so now let's add a plugin. Let's come to plugins. Let's come to add new. And let's just search for a plugin called blog design. So if we scroll down, we have this plugin here. It's called blog designer and it has 20,000 active installations. Last updated a week ago. And this is quite good. So let's install this plugin and activate it. So I have a pop-up here. I can just keep this and continue. In your case, you can opt in if you're okay with that. Uh, so right now we have this plugin already installed and then we can start using this plugin. There are quite a number of instructions here on this page for you to follow, but you don't need to bother. I'm just going to walk you through this plugin. So we can use this plugin directly as a short code and this is the short code here. So you can literally just paste this short code into any page, then you will have your WordPress post displayed there. And also here, you can see that they have options here for you to also import demo posts. That's a fantastic feature from this plugin too as well. But that's it. But before we go into our pages here, we can just come up here to the blog designer section here and come to the blog designer settings. There's some settings we can afford to do here. From here, we'll see the template for our blog page here. And then we can select other templates. Uh, so from here, they have quite a number of templates here. So for the purpose of this example, we want to stick with the free. So I will just come here to the free version. So from here, I can easily see different types of template that I can use for my blog page. And you can just come down here, check whatever you like, and then select whatever resonates with you. Uh, but for this example, I think this one here is what I have turned on. I will leave this as is. I think I just like this. Uh, so that's it for me right now. We can experiment with other design eventually later, but I think I'm just okay with that. I'll leave that as is. So that's it. Then we can we have some other settings here, like the standard settings. Let's come here. Uh, blog post template color. You might want to select color yourself that you want to use, but I'm not going to just mess around with uh, the colors right now. Choose whatever color that makes sense for you. So you can see the link color is blue. Uh, so you may want to change this also to your brand color. So whatever your brand color is, is fine here. So also post title settings. So if you come down here, you can see, uh, unfortunately, this is for pro. So we're going to leave that. Other settings here, post title, break words. Uh, you might want to break some words in case it's too long. Uh, you might want to break all, but I want to leave it as default here. I'm fine with that. Post title color too as well. You may want to change the color of your post title. And also post link over is pro. There's nothing you can do with that. Post title background color. You may want to leave it as white depending on how you have structured your theme. And I love this because this would make it very easy for you to integrate this into your theme settings. Uh, so that's quite very, very beautiful. So some other things here you can do to customize this. And I think these are super self-explanatory. You shouldn't have any problem trying to do that. So post content settings too as well. The same thing here. You want to have a summary. Apparently, we want to do that. What's the post content length? 75. That might be too much. We want to do it 50 or even maybe 30. Whatever it is that works for you. Uh, read more text here. It's, it's called read more. You may want to change this text to maybe continue reading or continue. Whatever you want to do is fine. Your background color is blue here. You can style this appropriately to suit your brand. And I think this is beautiful. Uh, also here, we have media settings. Unfortunately, everything here is in the pro. And there are quite fantastic features for you to be able to customize the media of your blog post. And also here, our slider settings here is not available. And pagination settings too as well. You can do more here. 
uh, pagination type you can choose this by default this is a load more here uh, you may just say no pagination i want to make this page uh, if you make this page uh, you would see that for you to change template here is pro Basically, you will just have this default page here. And I think this is beautiful enough for you to use. But if you want to have more templates, you want to have more customization to how this look, you might want to go Pro to as well. But I think I just love the Load More button. I might just want to leave that as is. And you can also change the text here from Load More. You can just say Continue Reading. Whatever it is you want to do, that's literally up to you. And Social Shares too as well. You can do some stuff here too as well. The Social Share styles here are available also in the Pro. You can enable this and use the default one. And if you want to have more customization to how you want these Social Shares to look on your site, you want to go Pro too as well. And I think that's pretty much everything that is to eat here. And also for art here, this is not enabled. We might have to use this in the Pro Tool as well. So now we can just hit the Save Changes button here. And then whatever changes we have made to this would be saved. And right now, we've copied our short code. I can still copy it again here. And then I can just come to Pages. I can just easily add a new page. But I think I have a block page already here. And this is beautiful. So I set up this one here. I can just easily edit this. In your case, you might have to create a new block page. That's literally fine. So everything I need to do here is to import my short code. So I have my short code widget here. I'll just paste that here. So you can start the page. You can choose the width, the length. Uh, you can maybe even have the sidebar if you want to. Whatever it is, is fine. But I think this is just okay right now. Save this. And then let's view this page. Voila, we now have a blog page here. And I think this is beautiful. So you can see see how this is displaying uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff here. So we can come down here, see we have load more button here. We can just easily load more and have more content available for us. And I think this is super, super, super beautiful. So you can go all around, mess around with the template, choose whatever template works for you. And just like that, you have... A custom blog page here literally for free like i said earlier if you're open to changing your wordpress theme you want to have more like a magazine type of blog page i got you covered too as well so let's come back to the back end of this website uh, so here we can just come to dashboard and from here i think i just let me just come to plugin here first and let's come to install plugin here and let's deactivate this. We may not want to use this plugin again for that purpose. So right now, let's come to appearance and let's come to themes. So we can just literally add a new theme. And there's a theme here I want you to consider. It's called News Blogger. It's actually a child theme of another theme, but let's install it. Installing it will automatically install the parent theme, so don't be surprised when you see two themes active on your website. So right now, let's activate this. Fantastic. So we now have this here. We can choose to import their demo content. If you want to do that, that's literally up to you. Uh, but if this is an existing website, you don't want to do that because that would just wipe off the entire content you have on your WordPress website. So right now, if you come down here, like I told you, so you can see this is the parent team here. It is called News Crunch. And we now have this actively installed right now. So let's come to our blog here. And let's just come to the home page, basically. So you can see what we have right now, just installing that theme. We now have a magazine WordPress website ready for us here. Highlighting all our blog posts, having a sidebar here with our recent posts, recent comment, archives, our categories. How we can see this is super, 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 super beautiful. And I think this would make a lot of sense. And as a matter of fact, for this to be free is mind-blowing. So you can customize this theme further. Uh, so you can just come up here to customize. So right here, you can see that at, at the customization tab here, you have quite a number of things you can do. For example, your logo here, you might want to change it. 
Uh, you may also want to maybe change uh, the other here so you can see enable or disable the date, enable or disable the time in case you don't want that ease. We can come to style too as well, uh, date colors, time colors, and all of these things you can customize and this is beautiful. So we can also customize our vlog title here. There's a video guide here for you to watch. You can upload a logo here. You can also have a dark version of your logo too as well. You can change your site title here. You can do quite a number of things. And that's quite very beautiful for your highlight as well. You can change things here. So you see the way it's displaying currently right now. You may want to change the layout to something entirely different. So you can see how this is displaying right now. And I think this is just super, super beautiful. Uh, so right now you can just go all around. You can see everywhere you see this icon here are things you can customize. So you can see here, you can change this uh, widget here completely. You can just go all around. You can also come to the footer too as well. You can easily just customize this. Unfortunately here, there is no uh, place for you to remove this part by spice theme here. So what you can do completely if you don't like this footer credit here is for you to disable your footer uh, copyright text completely. So you can just come down here and just turn this off. So it says here we can assign a footer menu. So we don't have a footer menu, but if you click this here, you can just create a menu for your footer. So in case you have a copyright section page, uh, your about section or your privacy policy, terms of use, you can always pull all of those things in the footer section. And I think this is beautiful, right? Uh, so that's it for this. I would just love to turn this back on. That's everything to eat here. I just love how everything here is customizable. So you can see I can just come down here and click this and customize this section too as well. What you see you have missed. I can change the title here to whatever I want to and then select the category that this should display. I can order this by oldest or by newest, whatever it is. I can also enable and disable meta. So if I turn that off right now, so you can see that's literally gone. So whatever it is that works for you, once you're done with all of these things here, customizing this uh, page here to suit your style, you can just easily publish this. And that's it, you are done with your customization. So there are still other settings here for this theme. You can come down here and play around with all of these settings to style your magazine WordPress theme. And I think this is beautiful. Uh, once we are done here, we can just close our customization tab. And we have our website here. I love this. You can toggle this on to black mode. You can toggle this back on. You have a search. Uh, future here. I think this is beautiful. Uh, you have this quick menu here. You can also customize this uh, in your widget area. So that's my time for this tutorial. If you find it quite very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues as usual, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to see more awesome tutorials like this. I would see you in another tutorial and until then, stay safe.